Yeah, obviously with the injuries, um, you know, I've been given an opportunity uh, to you know, get some consistent gains under my belt and um, definitely loving the opportunity. Uh, I'm doing everything I possibly can to, you know, make my claim and, um, you know, try and stay in there for as long as possible. Consistency has been a big thing for you, hasn't it? Trying to keep your spot. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's hard to keep keeping the side when you're the sub and uh, luckily I have, I've been able to play some full games um, as my fifth in the row on the weekend so um, definitely loving the opportunity. What sort of things are you noticing with, you know, given that you, you did get five, you have had five games? Um, I think, uh, you know, having confidence that, you know, I can play at the level and, um, you know, I do feel comfortable out there now and, um, yeah, I'd lo love to be a regular part of the team. The last couple of games you have played may have been pretty special, like you, you've had a few really good moments. When you came into the side, did you know you were capable of that sort of stuff? Um, you know, I've always had belief in myself um, and uh, always felt that I was capable at the level, but um, you know, those games were okay, but you know, I've got a lot to improve on and uh, my kicking hasn't been at the level that I, I want to. Obviously, missed three goals on the weekend and um, that's not acceptable by my standards and um, by the team standards. What do you do to fix that? Um, just training, really. You just got to train it, and um, you know we had a fair old session today, and um, was trying to execute under fatigue. Has um, Phil asked you to do anything differently to perhaps what Sando might have wanted you to do when you come into the team? Your role, with what position you're playing, or what you're doing? <laughs> Has that changed? Um, no, not really. Uh, they're both pretty similar in the in the messaging uh, towards me. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, Phil just wants me to take the game on and um, use my kick, and you know we, we want to be a kicking side, and um, you know I want to be able to utilise my kick in the games. When you say like trying to execute under fatigue, is it do you do anything different at AFL level that you might do at Sample level? You know, is it just you might run yourself ragged and then do a skill session, or how, how do you sort of do it? Um, well, it's pretty much run yourself ragged and then try and execute at the end of the day, but. Um, obviously, AFL level is a lot quicker, and yet you're probably um, hurting a lot more during the day than you are at SNFL level. Um, but then saying that when you're out at SNFL level, we want to play at AFL standard, and um, I think the boys did do that on the weekend. They were they were really good. But yeah, like you said, just just trying to you know uh, ex execute when you're under fatigue. That's probably the biggest thing for us at the moment. It's a bit of a squeeze on this box through the forward sort of with Douglas. <coughs> Do you feel that sense when you're in the side? Um, yeah, obviously those blokes are they're going to eventually come back, but um, you know I'm not thinking about that. I'm just thinking about how to keep improving my game, how to keep improving the team, and um, you know that that stuff will worry about itself with the coaches in their selection. But um, I'm just worried about you know staying out there myself. Do you feel like everything you've done in the last couple of weeks you could really present a better case for selection? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think I was at my best, and. Um, you know, I pride myself on my kicking, and um, you know I wasn't happy with it at all on the weekend. Um, and you know I've still got to work on my defensive transition. That's always been an area to, for me to work on, and my um, repeat speed. So I'll continue to keep working on that. So now, how do you handle the next you know, four days off, don't you, like over the bye and stuff? So do you just try and take that to do nothing and, and refresh mentally and stuff, or do you have you got some stuff you need to work on that you feel like to be able to try and lock in your spot for next week? Um, yeah, probably it's more of a mental, you know, release. Um, I, I don't mind my landscaping, so I probably might have a couple of days doing that just to, you know, freshen up and uh, think about something completely different from footy. Um, I think, you know, we worked on a fair bit of stuff today and um, we need to work on recovering and, and uh, getting right for Sunday session. Do you work for someone to help out with your landscaping? Yeah, I've got a one day a week that we have off. Um, you know, I'm working towards you know eventually owning my own landscaping business uh, in the future. Um, currently with Stringy Bart Landscaping, one of a uh, bloke that I got introduced to, Maddie Thomas. He's um, lives in Mylor and uh, he's been helping me out with that. It's been awesome. And big game next Thursday. Mitch, it'll be, it'll be pretty exciting to take the big stage against the reigning premiers. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we relish the challenge. Um, they got to come down to our, our home deck and. Um, you know, we've got a reasonable record there, but 
you know, it's going to be an awesome opportunity to, to see where we're at. How far off, if you, I mean, you touched on your poor skills against Carlton, how far off are you to play at the standards you need to play at? Because if you do what you did against Carlton against Hawthorne, you're probably not getting over the line, are you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, our skills went up to level, uh, up to the level, and um, you know we're doing everything we can to rectify that. Um, whether it's mindset uh, or execution, uh, we'll, we'll put our finger on that later on the week. But um, yeah, we'll just have to bring our game and our pressure, and you know that that should be enough. Hopefully, is this the biggest game this year? Oh, probably, probably so far, probably yeah. Um, but I mean, we we take every game, try and treat every game the same. Would you look at Hawthorne's skills? Are they the elite kicking side of the competition? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You look at all the uh, you know, left footers in the team that you know, you're suckling and the Hodges of the world, they they just got elite kicks and um, you know, our defensive pressure is gonna have to put pressure on them so they can't utilise that. So that's always just making them execute but under the pump. So you wear a few of their kicks as long as they're made to earn it. Yeah, exactly right. Yep. So it's really gonna be a case of you trying to beat, you know, the, the benchmark of their own game. Yeah, I mean we, we probably haven't been the best kicking side so far, um, but we want, we want to be a kicking side, um, and we've just got to keep pulling the trigger and um, going for our kicks. But you know we're also a pressing side, so we want to keep pressing up on them and um, you know don't let them have that time and space where they can um, be really d dangerous with their kick. How have you found it adapting to what Walsh's brought in terms of game plan and the press? Because it was a lot more fierce than what it was last year. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know I think the boys are loving the loving the, the new game style. Um, you know, the ownership's on the players, on the field. If they feel like they need to make a change, they can do that. Um, and, uh, you know, all the boys have the confidence in, in each other to make those decisions. Personally, you feel it's more suited to your game? Um, oh, I'm not, not too sure, really. It's just you've got a role to play and you've got to execute that role. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Thanks fellas. Cheers.